Okay, this is the Avatar Papa that I purchased during the summer and they sent it to me. This replaced the Pennsylvania Golden, which was truly dead. See, it's over there, it's dead. Um, so I pulled it out and planted this one, hoping that it will do better here in the summertime versus the Pennsylvania Golden, which did great when I had an early freeze and then decided to die. And this is about two feet tall. There was no new growth until the last couple weeks and it is October. So it was just sitting there, not, not growing or anything for a couple of months. But that one is growing now that the temperatures have dropped. And this one is the Susquehanna. And look at the new growth that is coming in on that. It's looking really good. There are parts that have died, obviously. Um, but there's some green still and some growth in the lower portion here and here. So it looks, it made it through the summer. I thought it was going to totally die, but made it through the summer. So let's go over and talk about the other four, four or five pawpaws that I've got going on. Okay, this is the free bird pawpaw and it also has been growing pretty good. I planted it in the summer. I'll put a link on, I'll put a link in the video on when I planted this during the summer because um, I needed to replace what I thought was dead. I had a premium pawpaw and if you look to the back, right, well my finger's too big, right back there that is the small pawpaw that also grew and here let's take a look around the side. Look at that. So I thought this pawpaw was dead and when I exposed it after removing a lot of the mulch, it has grown. It is about a foot and a half tall right now and it's just been growing great. Uh, the free bird had a little bit of issues with the heat, but this one seemed to not really have many issues. If we go to this other one, this one has been doing pretty good. I, I didn't know what was going on with the heat issue. I need to get in on the gate there. But you can see at the top there, it is growing. All the new growth that is going, now that the temperature has dropped, it's actually doing good. But I just thought about something that I might have done to these pawpaws that might have shocked them and or killed them temporarily. And we have pretty alkaline soil here in St. George and um, with watering it as much as I was I was thinking the alkalinity of the soil was getting too much for the pawpaws because they were starting to shrivel on the edges and uh, maybe there was too much salt in the water so they're having some issues. So I thought well maybe um, it's the alkalinity in the soil so maybe I need to turn it a little bit more acidic. Well, I put some, I think it was sulfur, in around every single pawpaw to see if that would help. But then it seemed to be like a week or two afterwards that the pawpaws really struggled and had a hard time compared to last year. Last year they didn't seem to have as hard of a time, but this year they really did have a hard time. So I'm thinking that because I increased the acidity that it shocked all of the pawpaws and the heat shocked the pawpaws. So um, this next year, I'm not gonna change that. I'm just gonna let the soil get more alkaline if I need to. There's a lot of organic matter down at the bottom. If I see all that organic matter, that's supposed to help with acidity also. So maybe I'm not gonna worry about it this next year and see how well they do in the heat and a lot of watering. So this one made it, it's gonna go dormant here 
in the next month or two. Let's look at the other one. All right, this one is the Prima. Get in through this gate. There's the Prima. And man, it is, it is really growing. It has grown um, past the shock. So all the dead stuff that you see on the leaves, that is post acid pouring, <laughs> which I, I heard is pretty soft, but I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But post acid, the top of the leaves and post heat. We're in temperatures of 85, it maybe gets 90 degrees now. And um, I have decreased the watering just a little bit, but they are growing really, really well now. So this is the Prima, and let's go to the next one. Okay, look at this guy grow. Man, he's already expanding. Really good growth on the new growth. The leaves are not that big. My persimmon leaves are bigger than these pawpaw leaves, which I heard was persimmon is not supposed to get that big of leaves and pawpaws are supposed to get huge leaves. So I don't know what's going on, but this one is working out. And then also the one back there is working out. You can see them grow. They, again, in the past month have only grown a couple of inches. So not a lot of new growth. But if you are growing pawpaws in the desert, keeping them shaded in that awesome heat and beautiful full sun, I would highly recommend it. Next year, technically, is supposed to be year three, but I haven't seen much growth on these guys. So I don't know if I want to expose them to full sun next year since it is year three. But might be worth, a, worth an experiment. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So that's the update on the pawpaws here in the fall of St. George, Utah. Please shoot me any questions or comments. If you have any ideas, you're like, dude, you're killing your pawpaws because you're keeping them covered or anything like that. Please let me know because I am curious on how to get these things growing. I ordered some pawpaws that were harvested naturally. They didn't seem very big. They were pretty expensive and I ate them. There were three of them that were definitely spoiled and the other six were so freaking good i love it you like scoop it out with a spoon and it's like a custard when you eat it man it's so freaking good so i really want to have these things grow all right i hope you all have a phenomenal day